Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So, how are you, Annie? I'm good. Oh, good. Nice to see you again. All right. So, did you go out today? Did you do something fun? Yes. You played again? Yes. Oh, I see. With your cousins or your neighbors? Your friends, I see. You played it in your house or you played outside? I played outside. Oh, I see. You played outside. And what did you play? Hide and seek? No. What is it then? What did you play? Many games, I see. Uh, with a lot of running, did you run a lot? No. Oh, no. Um, the, weather, the weather is rainy. Oh, rainy. Oh, I see. You just played in the house? Yeah. Oh, I see. You just played in the house. All right. And we're going to move to a new topic, Annie. Last time you have finished, like, I think, speaking class. Now, what we're going to do is to go, to, uh, sorry, last time we have listening and reading class. Now, we're going to have some speaking class, okay? Are you ready? Okay, so I will share my screen to you. Just a second. I will share my screen just a minute. Can you see my screen? And can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, I good. Okay. We're going to have a speaking class. And we're going to practice some. Um, I know we're doing this always. Can you answer this question one more time? Introduce yourself. You try to say you what the th what are the things you like? I like swimming, um, drawing, painting, and playing piano. All right, nice to meet you again, Han or Annie. Okay, so these are some of the questions. Can you cook? Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you often cook for your family? Sometimes, I see. And how, when you say sometimes, when is it? Um, Monday, Wednesday, um, Friday, and Sunday. Oh, it's like um, Monday, MWF, Sunday. I see. And what do you cook during those days? What do you cook? Egg. Oh, how do you cook the egg? How do you cook the egg? How 
how do you cook the egg? I will have to break the egg. Okay, so these are the different kinds of, um, you say hard-boiled egg, you call this hard-boiled egg, okay? Can you see it, Annie? You call it hard-boiled egg. Another way to cook the egg is fried egg, right? So you can fry the egg and yeah, fried fry egg. No, oh, I see fried egg. Um, there are different ways to cook the egg. First, you call it sunny side up. You call it sunny side up eggs. Can you call it? Can you say it again? Sunny side up. Very good. This is sunny side up fried eggs. Okay. I like this one very much. Sunny side up. Another, you call it omelette eggs. Okay, what do you call this one? Omelette eggs. Okay, do you know how to cook omelette? You're just going to, to beat the egg. You're going to beat the eggs, then you fry it. Omelette, easy, right? And of course, the other way is scrambled eggs. These are scrambled, okay? I know how to cook scrambled eggs. Oh, I see. So you do scrambled eggs and sunny side up. Is that correct? No, fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fried egg. You call this, again, sunny side up. This is ah. a fried egg. You call it sunny side up. Okay. So that is the uh, that is the type that is the correct way to call this egg sunny side up, sunny side up fried egg. Okay, that's why it said there, sunny side up fried egg. Okay, if you can see right here, sunny side up fried eggs. Okay, so you know how to cook sunny side up eggs and scrambled eggs. Very good. That's nice. And there another cook for egg, you call it poached. Poached eggs. Poached. Can you see that? Yeah. You poach it. But, mm, yeah, poach. Poached. Yeah, poach. Poached egg. Okay, can you, can you read again? Very good. Okay. So good job. Do you know other way to cook the egg? Do you have any idea how to cook the egg more? Or only this one? Hard egg. Sorry? Hard? Hard egg? You mean the boiled one? Boiled egg? Like this? Oh. What do you mean hard egg? What do you hard like this? H E I R T. H E A R T. Heart? Heart eggs? How do you do this? Oh, you do it like this? You cook your eggs like this in a heart shape? I make. Ah, you cut it like a heart. <laughs> I see. So that's cute, right? So you make it like a heart. Yeah, I mean, there are actually like egg. Um, 
this one is very uh, very sophisticated kind of breakfast egg eggs benedict okay and other way is what you say the uh, egg um what do you call that a sh shaper uh, yeah egg ring yeah egg ring so you use egg ring egg ring to cook it perfectly and of course this is available in different shapes right like. this one this one i think the egg shapes right so you have the heart have the star flower apple bear elephant right so you have different shapes right so this is egg ring you call it egg ring okay you can ask your mom mom buy me an egg ring i want a heart shape so you don't have to cut you just have to uh, put the egg there and it will fry and it will take shape right so good job okay going back who cooked the most often in your family who cooked the most often in your family Sorry, your grandpa, your grandfather? Yes. Oh, your grand. Okay, who cooks better, your grandfather or your mother? Both. Both. They are go. They are good. Uh, but who's um. Who usually cook your breakfast? Who usually cook? Cooks no, your breakfast. I always drink milk. Oh, you don't eat breakfast. Oh, you only drink milk. And with milk, do you eat bread? Uh, sometimes. Oh, sometimes. For example, I uh, having my snack here. I have um, cinnamon roll. I don't know if you know this one like this. Um, we bake it because we have oven. We're the one making it. So you call it cinnamon roll. So... For example, I have a bread here. Cinnamon roll. So that's what I'm eating now. I have cinnamon roll. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Know yeah, actually, I have the, this one, the one that I have is cinnamon roll. It's just that I have a lot of sauce or cream or the white. So I have, we cook, we bake this one. And other types of bread, of course, there are too many, right? So you only drink milk and sometimes bread. I see. What about lunch? Who cook your lunch most often? Grandpa. Your grandfather. Um, your mother has work? Yes. Oh, that's why she can't be there. And during the night, your mother, is that correct? What? Uh, during the night, the dinner time, who will cook the dinner? My grandparents. Oh, you're still, you're your grandpa still. Oh, I see. Maybe your mother cooks when she has a free time. Is that correct? And she has free time to cook. That's the time that she cooks. I see, I see. And your grandparents are the parents of your father or your mother? Oh, your, oh, the parents of your father, I see. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, is your kitchen large or small? It's small. Small, I see. What can we see in your kitchen? What can we see in your kitchen? What can we see in your kitchen? I can see a table, chairs, mm -hmm. um, table, chairs, what else? Uh, 
cupboard. That's right. You have cupboards. What else? Cupboard. What else? You get table, chairs, of course, cupboard. What about this one? Yeah. What do you call it? Sink. Okay. So to be exact, you can say kitchen sink. Okay. Kitchen sink. Okay. What else do you have? What else do you have there? Right in Sorry, what is the word? You write in chancellor. Oh, can you write it in the chat so that I can see? But it's the Vietnamese. Okay, uh, let me check in Vietnamese. Um, just send it to chat, write in the chat. Do you know how to do it? No. Send it through chat. I'll bet. Double E. P -E double E. Like this? No. It's not showing, I, uh, because I don't have Vietnamese. Um, no, 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 <laughs> not that one. Um, B E P. Okay, maybe let's try to look at other about stove. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Your teacher knows what you're thinking. Okay, <laughs> so you call it stove, okay? Yeah. Your stove. Are you using a gas range stove or electric stove? Are you using a gas range stove or electric stove? I'm using a gas range stove. Okay, the gas range stove. So you have gas tank, right? You have a gas tank. Gas tank. You have like this. Yeah. I see. Very good. That's nice. Okay, what else can we find? What else can we find? Can we find in your kitchen? I don't know this one in fridge. Okay, what about appliances? You know appliances? Uh, maybe this one. Kitchen utensils. Do you have this one? Yeah. Right. You have utensils, right? So they have a lot of different names here. If you're going to look. Different names. You got solid turner, slotted turner, Asian turner, solid spoon, slotted spoon, solid ladle, pusher, whisk. Spatula, draining spoon, pasta server, tongs, cheese knife. So there are a lot of ways to call it, right? So those, these are the different um, utensils in kitchen, right? Do you have this one? Sorry? I cannot hear you. What else? All right. Kitchen ceramics. What about this one? Do you have this one? What is this? 
bowl, like, uh, sorry, maybe bowls and plates. Right, you have right, and pots and cauldrons. Oh, not this one. And you're looking for kitchen pot, like this one, right? Yeah. Very important. You have to have pots, right? Cookware. What else? You also have frying pan, like this one, right? What about this one? Oh, try to remember the words, Annie. Try to remember, okay? Frying pan, pots, or kitchen pots. You also have wok. You know wok? They have this one. Ah, oh, you don't have. I see, I see. But this one, wok. Um, very good for cooking. Sorry. Sorry, I cannot hear you. Ah, you think? <laughs> I see. All right. What else do we have? Uh, maybe you also have fridge, right? Very important. You have fridge. Do you have fridge? Uh huh. Right. You have fridge. This thing, I, I don't remember. Fridge. I forgot. Okay, good. You good? Do you remember? So fridge, or you call it refrigerator, right? So you have refrigerator, right? Do you have refrigerator? Do you have refrigerator, Annie? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I mean, do you have refrigerator? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. What food can we find inside your ref or inside your fridge? What food can we find inside your fridge? Potato, uh, vegetable, mm -hmm. uh, yogurt, ice cream. Oh, nice. What else? Ice? ice, yeah, you have to have ice. What else? Drinks. Sorry? Drinks. Drinks, yeah, you have drinks. Uh, uh, fruits? Fruits, yes, you have to have fruits inside your refrigerator. Right. Sorry? Meat. Meat, yes, the meat, right? The one that you use for... For your for your lunch or your dinner, um, sometimes you call it viand, okay. Oh, you don't have. Viand, you call it viand. Um, the rice and viand, okay. So that is the term. Viand is the food that you pair with rice, okay? You call it viand, okay? Yeah, yeah. But actually, this is Filipino food. <laughs> this is Filipino um, food. Are you eat this? Sorry? What? Are you, are you eat this food? Oh, yeah. Just last night, we have this adobo. <laughs> I it's one of my favorite. This one, um, do you know this one? Eggplant with egg. Yeah. So eggplant it's omelet. So yeah, it's very yummy. It's very, and so well, fish. Well, that's only grilled fish, but I don't like fish that much. Yeah, but I mean the word viand means viand, the food that you pair with rice, right? So yeah. the rice. And the food that you eat with it. So you call it viand. Okay. Can you say the word again? Viand. Yes. Okay. Viand. All right. So, oh, that's nice. Anyway. <laughs> All right. I, it's making me hungry already. Okay. Going back. Now, okay. Now, does your family have meals in the kitchen? Do you eat in the kitchen or do you have dining room? 
Oh, but, but it's uh, next to the kitchen. Oh, I see. But you always eat your dinner, or you always have your meals in the dining room or in the kitchen. What the meals mean? Meals. What does the word meal meal? Bữa ăn. Okay. Where do you usually have your meal? Yeah. Where, where? <laughs> where? Kitchen or dining room? Dining room. Okay, dining room. I see. Okay, good job. Now, let's try to move forward now. Um, you have your pen, right? So, I will give you time. To look for the difference between the two picture and after that if you're ready to answer i will give you time and you explain to me what is the difference okay okay Oh, no, one more. Okay, sure, sure. Take your time, take your time. Okay. Okay. Okay, if you're finished, are you sure that's it? Everything already? Okay. So try to explain to me the difference one by one. In picture one, the butterfly is flying on the window. You don't really call it on the window. Um, let's just try to guess that flying outside the window. Yeah. Right? So flying outside the window. Okay. So you can say in the picture too, the parrot is flying out of the window. It's going out, right? It's flying out. Okay, good. What else? That's great. What else? Picture one, the picture in the world, uh, in the world is a, is a, a castle. In picture two, the picture in the world is a snowman. Very good. What else? In picture one, there are three spoons in the table. Okay, good. On the table, not in. On the table. Bottles with S. Bottles on a, on a on shelf. On a shelf. In picture two, the, the, the three bottles. 
fruit is on the floor. Are on the floor. Uh, it's picture one. The stranger is next to the telephone. It's All right. Picture two. What's this? What do you think is that? Maybe ru uh maybe cutter. You know cutter? Cutter. Cutter. No, not Qatar. This is Qatar. I need cutter. This one. I think so. Okay, yeah, I think so. That is uh Okay, good job. Very good. What else? In picture one, there are a bridge. Uh, the? The bridge. What is that? Bridge. A bridge. The, the bridge? Sorry? What is it? The fridge is next to the woman. The fridge. Ah, sorry. The fridge. Okay. Yeah, the fridge. Okay. In picture two, there is a stove. Okay. You call it actually oven. Okay. Or... Yeah, you call just call it oven, okay? In picture one, the the you call it cabinet. What? Cabinet, the cabinet. The cabinet. Kitchen cabinet. Okay, so this are kitchen cabinet. Okay, cupboards, the one you can see on the top. But down, you can call it cabinet, kitchen cabinet. Okay? In picture one, the cabinet is, um, is open. Okay, good. Very good. Nice one. Good job. Okay, so. So one, the woman is carrying the glass. Or the just holding, not carrying, just holding. Just that they're holding. Because that's small. That is just small. So just refer it holding. The woman is holding a glass of water. Mm -hmm. and Picture two, the woman is holding a knife. A fork. Uh-huh. Fork, not a knife. I think that's a fork, not a knife. Okay. Picture one, the woman is holding a black tie. Or wearing, the woman is wearing... Okay, you don't say uh, black tights. The woman is wearing a pair of black tights or is wearing tights, okay? Can you say it again? The woman is wearing a tight. No, ah, uh, no, ah. Uh. The woman is wearing tights. Very good. 
Okay. Very good. Very nice, Annie. Good job. Good job. Okay. Give me a high five. You were able to answer the question perfectly. Nice one. Okay. Let's move now to the next picture. Of course, those are the differences, right? Okay, we did not miss. Um, of course, they missed something here. Okay. Okay. What we have here? Can you read it? Emma and David. Emma and David like reading. I don't know anything about Emma's book, but you do. So I'm going to ask you some questions. All right. So let's try to see the, the information about Emma's favorite book. Okay, what's the name of Emma's favorite book? The name of the Emma's favorite book is The Chocolate Mouse. Oh, I see. How many pages does it get? It has 50, 54 pages. Very good. Who gave it to her? Okay, no, you don't say that way. Her grandfather. Her grandfather gave it to her. Can you say it again? You don't say her grandfather is gave or gave. No, so you don't have to put is. Yes, but her grandfather gave it to her. Can you say it? Okay, good job. Next. Where does she read it? She reads it on the bedroom. Okay, she reads the book on her or in her bedroom. Okay, good job. Next. What? Why does she like it? Okay, she likes it. Okay, <laughs> she likes it. She likes it because it's about animals. Very good, nice one. Now we have here David. Okay. Uh, can you just excuse me, Annie, for a moment? Uh, try to practice answering it. I'll just get back to you. Okay, just a minute. Thank you for your patience. Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, going back. So we have here David's favorite book. And can you tell me what's the name of David's favorite book? Okay, good job. It's The Silver Planet. Next, how many pages has it yet? Twenty, one hundred twenty. One hundred twenty pages. Pages. Good job. 
Who gave it to him? Sorry. Her. Okay, good. Where does David read it? Very good. And lastly, why David likes it? Why does David like it? He likes it because it's about space. It's about space. Good job. Nice one, Annie, for providing good answers. Okay. We have here different pictures. Can you see the pictures, right? One, two, three, four, five. And you will have to tell me the story about it. But for the meantime, can you read it here? It's called John. I read, it, I, I read this one. Before? I think not yet. All right. I don't think so. Okay. Um, try to read this one first. Then try to, if you already answer it, then say your answers again, right? Anyway, this is a speaking test. Okay, Annie? Can you read this one again? It's called... Phil. Okay. Just look at the picture. Can you read it? Okay. What can you see in picture one? And what do you think they're doing there? Okay, they are talking, right? Then number two, where are they? Sorry? Museum, but what's the what's the building beside the museum? A film or a cinema, right? Good job. Number three. Okay, good job. Okay, and we're just going to continue next time, Annie. It's already time. I'm sorry. I did not realize that it's almost time. Okay, uh, we're going to continue next Monday. Okay? So thank you very much, Annie, for coming to class. And see you on Monday. Okay? Bye-bye.